and welcome to Prime News. Now look at the headlines. SIT takes four files pertaining to Dahej Minerals in their custody. Senior Rane questions why Nike was silent all these years. Vishwajit refuses to comment. Goa Governor Bharat Virwanchu resigns after CBI quizzes Governor at Raj Bhavan in 4,000 crore Augusta Westland VVIP chopper deal scam. Kaitu should come out clean on his Portuguese dual citizenship first, then speak on Indian culture. Sudin slams Kaitu. Kaitu says, check my birth certificate. BJP re-guarantees protection to Goans from Mutalik and his violent ideologies. Refuses the ban on Sri Ram Sene, even if Mutalik opens branch in Goa. Dempo Sports Club extend tie-up with Pilar Bay's Father Agnel High School. Dempo will provide specialist football coach to Pilar School. And now the news in detail. Balchandra Naik's lease bribe allegation is a mere publicity stunt. Pratap Singh Rane reacted on the allegation, which has tainted its clean image. Rane spoke to Prudent on FIRs filed by SIT against him and his son Vishwajit. Rane questions why Balchandra Naik stayed mum on this issue all these years. Vishwajit Rane has refused to comment. Rane's have even evaded to clear whether they would be going for anticipatory bail or not. Minor Bhalchandra Naik had few days back alleged that Pratap Singh Rane and his son Vishwajit had demanded 10 crores to clear his EC file when senior Rane was the chief minister. SIT filed an FIR against father-son duo following this complaint. But senior Rane terms Bhalchandra Naik's allegation as a publicity gimmick. Senior Rane spoke to Prudent on phone. Pratap Singh Rane claims, Bhalchandra Naik's allegations are baseless, will reply him legally. Bhalchandra Naik's allegation is a publicity stunt. Why was Bhalchandra Naik in hibernation all these years? Will act according to lawyer's advice, says Rane. Rane plans to file defamation case against Bhalchandra Naik. Vishwajit Rane has refused to react on the corruption charges leveled by Bhalchandra Naik. He has said that he will follow his counsel's advice and act accordingly. Meanwhile, the SIT has took four files of the Hage minerals pertaining to this case under their custody. Bhalchandra Naik is MD and chairman of the Hage minerals. Sources say if police finds prima facie evidences in these documents, then Rane's might be summoned for a probe by next week. Senior reporter Lokik Shilkar with Mukesh Kumar for Prudent. Goa Governor B.B. Wanchu has resigned after CBI quizzed him as a witness in Augusta Westland VVIP helicopter deal case. The CBI team was at Raj Bhavan since Friday morning. The chopper deal was worth 4,000 crores and the deal during UPA regime allegedly involved kickbacks of 360 crore rupees. Meanwhile, the Enforcement Directorate on Friday registered a money laundering case against S.P. Thiagi, the former Air Force chief. Wanchu was serving as chief of the Special Protection Group at the time of the deal. He is believed to have been involved in the meeting where the height ceiling for the chopper was lowered from 6,000 to 4,500 feet. It is alleged that the specifications of the 12 helicopters were changed to ensure Augusta Westland became the only firm that qualified. A team of the CBI on Friday visited Raj Bhavan and recorded statement of Governor Bharat Vir Wanchu as witness under Section 161. CRPC. In a statement released by the Raj Bhavan through the Department of Information and Publicity said CBI was desirous of recording his statement in the chopper deal scam case. CBI had sent a formal request to question on 24th June to the governor, which governor accepted. Governor has hoped that his statement would have clarified any issues that the CBI may have had and had hoped that the CBI would conclude their investigation to bring out the truth at the very earliest. Meanwhile, Enforcement Directorate on Friday has registered a money laundering case against former India Air Force Chief S.P. Tyagi, who is also an accused in the Augusta Westland chopper deal scam case. Former Air Force Chief is accused of reducing the height criteria while executing 
Chopper deals so that Augusta Westland fits the slot and bags the 4,000 crore deal. CBI has already quizzed MK Narayana in this case. MK Narayana has already resigned as governor of West Bengal. Bureau report prudent. Kaito should come out clean on his Portuguese dual citizenship first and then speak on Indian culture. The advice comes from PWD Minister Sudin Daulikar. He said Kaito lacks knowledge on the issue and has not understood his state. Navili locals along with Kaitu Silva had condemned Sudin Daulikar for supporting Metallic's ideology. Sudin also clarified that he has not withdrawn his ban bikini remark. This is a message from PWD Minister Sudin Dhavrikar to Benauli MLA Kaitu Silva after Kaitu with locals condemned Sudin Dhavrikar for supporting Mutalik's ideology. Hmm. धवरीकर ऑल्सो रिफ्यूटेड मीडिया रिपोर्ट विच सैड ही हेड विड्रॉन हिज बैन बिकिनी रिमार्क However, Sudin says he has apologized for those women whose sentiments might have hurt because of his statement, though not intentional. You have a statement for TV, you have a statement for TV. No, I have a statement for TV. Early on Thursday, Navalim local along with Kaitu Silva had demanded ban on Ram Sene. They had burned Mutalik's effigy. Navalkars also had condemned Sudin Dhavrikar for supporting Mutalik's ideology. A senior reporter Lokik Shilkar for Prudent. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned.